We are back with Hunter the Reckoning. I need to calm down more skeleton bodies, I guess. I'm going to run across this bridge and see what I could find, but... Well, that was it. See, there's a body at the end, clearly. I do like how you could relatively seamlessly go to uh, melee as long as you're not particularly aiming at something. So there's a body, really. There's a body, right? We got, uh oh, 10 to go, which is something I don't like. The, wow, these rats really hurt. I should probably be considerably more careful. Now I'm going to go all the way back across the uh, the floor on the ground and see if there's a body down here, because wouldn't that be a frustrating thing to do? It's looking like there may not be, though. Wow. They might have just had a freebie for this first room. All right, well, I've, I've laid one body to rest. One. Oh, Alyssa, will I play Clock Tower 3? I don't know, eventually. If I do... Oh, nuts. I gotta go this way. If I do, I'll, I'll have to let's play it, because I don't want to suddenly switch to streaming Clock Tower games. I'm gonna go in here now. Oh, hey, there's a body immediately. Can I... Oh, no way. I can shoot the rats from up here. Okay, I guess we're going with classic Doom logic, where you don't particularly do an aim thing. You just kind of already are aiming at them. I'll deal with the body in a moment. If you'll forgive me, I'm, I'm dealing with a, uh, a rat problem. Anyway, bonk. Nine bodies remain. This game is really stepping it up. I see a sparkly. I don't even know what this is. Ah, machine gun. It's a little frustrating that the room is this big, because I gotta really check the bodies. Or check four bodies. Like, did I miss a body in this... Oh, hello. In this insanely giant room? I don't know. I saved an innocent. And see? See? There's a body. Oh. The body, for some reason, gave me health that I failed to pick up. And it, I probably should take out zombies just because I, I do build up experience points, although I don't know to what degree that affects my stats. Also, please let me know if um, the sound balancing is okay between my voice and the game's wild, crazy uh, thrash and soundtrack and my gunshots. Uh, as for what my best horror game of all time is, Alyssa, that's a difficult question. For a long time, I said Silent Hill 2 and Eternal Darkness, and they're still up there. But there's so many more games, like, I don't know. Alright, there there was an exit. I think that might be the only exit. Let's just take it. I appreciate the zero loading time. Now I'm in just a very tight hallway. I'll take it. That means I know where the hell I am. And look, here's a body. Boing. Seven but whoa, hello. Seven bodies remain. As much as I want to just run down the hallway, the rats have got to go. The rats are actually dangerous. They're fast and they hurt surprisingly, uh, quite a lot. The zombies hurt if they really gang up on you, but the rats just hurt, which is shocking to me. And they're still spawning. You know they gotta end sometime, but I'm very nervous because, again, these things hurt. Okay, I think I might be good with the rats. I, I just wish that the zombies would stop literally spawning in, just appearing. I think I see a body way at the end of the hallway, which is good. And here, rats spawn in. Oh, I actually saw it incorrectly. I thought I saw something to the right, but it turns out there's a body at the end of the hallway. Any, any, anyway, uh, it's to the left. Too bad I had to retreat because a thousand rats are appearing. And I'm not getting that health. That man... Drops really don't last. They really want you to be moving constantly. But I can't just run into a crowd like this. Again, this game is obviously designed for four players. Or at least more than... That was bad. At least more than one player. 
If the rats would stop, like, appearing magically, I would very much appreciate that. There we go. We cool? Okay, the thing I thought I saw at the end of the hallway was, in fact, a, uh, a weapon. I got max ammo for the shotgun. I can go in this tunnel. Maybe I should wait? Oh, picture quality is low? I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> this is just, like... Looks great on my TV. I, I don't know about the... What it looks like on the internet. <laughs> Oh, it was an innocent deer. Hey. Get away, from me. Get away from me. Nice. Also, um, this is GameCube rather than PS2. I'll point that one out. Let me just see how this looks on my capture, but... I think it should look fun. Yeah, it looks, it looks gorgeous on my capture. I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or what. I don't know. Uh, so there's the path to the left, and there's this long tunnel to the right. Who knows where either leads. I mean, you know I gotta do both. Hopefully this is not the ultimate exit, because if it is, I'm gonna have to leave and come back. See, we got a branching path now. Excuse me, zombies. Here's a body. Five bodies remain, that's good. Let's not get shot. Oh, come on. As I immediately get shot. Too many... Oh, forget this. I'm just gonna zigzag out of here. And there's another path here. I'm starting to think maybe I should go back. Oh, shotgun. Nope. We're not doing that. I think I am just going to go back, actually. Oh, hello. I, at this point, I'm reasonably sure I should just be retreating. This, this path sucks. There's multiple branching paths in here. I, oh man, I do not want this. I super do not want this. I'm, I'm out. I'm done. I'll come back later. That's awful. As I get shot by a hundred things. Ugh. Get out of my damn way. Now I need health. It's a whole to-do. Any of you want to drop red orbs? No? Okay, bye. What about you, sir? You want to drop a red orb? Thank you. How about you? Red orb, buddy? Red orbs? Red orbs? Red orbs? Red orbs? Any of you? I'd really rather not die unnecessarily. Oh my goodness. Alright, that'll do for now. Okay, so. Do we have another door to the left? I think we did. If, if we didn't, then, I, then that's it. I just went backward for no reason. Ouch, I might have gone backwards for no reason. Damn. Well, the good news is now I know where I need to go, and it's there. But there's still so many branching paths. Could we not? See, I thought this area over here was a juking path. Hello there, Savage Mantis. Welcome to the stream. Jeez, all the bloodstains stay? I did not expect that. Bodies disappear, but where I killed them totally stayed. We're not doing the guns. Excuse me. Drop dead. Again. Ugh, disappointing, disappointing. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. What if I go... Whoops. Oh, wrath. Well, we did have a body. This is good. Two remain. I'm nearly done with the level, presumably. This is something. This is something. Uh, we are not doing shotguns. We are super not doing that. I got that body. This is, I think, just a dead end. I do see a body over here. Got it. Got some health. Magically didn't get shot. I do love it when the zombies shoot each other. Oh! Accidental secret area? With a thousand weapons and stuff. Is this just straight up a secret area? This is like a bonus area. Also, excuse me for a moment, please. Oop, no, 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 no. Well, well, I will kill them, actually. There. 
good. There we go. All right, feels good, man. Let's not get hit by the rats. That is just a death sentence. Ugh, I want that health, but I, I really can't. I don't think I want to retreat too far, because I forgot if I killed the gun-toting zombies. But this is looking much better. Look at that. I can recover. I can recover. Going in. So I'm assuming I'm heading toward the last body now. This is going pretty decently. Oh, boy. I really hope I didn't miss a body, because if this is the big final room and there's just nothing for me, then that's going to suck. Oh, freaking rat. Come on now. Like, it's very frustrating when I'm trying to stay away from gun-toting zombies and when I kill the rats, two spawn right next to me in this incredibly tight area. Alright, this is better. I still don't want to get shot. You know how it is. And more rats, though. Like, again, could we just not? Ugh. I'm out of here. Let's hope the last body is somewhere in the vicinity. Are, are you freaking serious? I got a chainsaw, I'll take that. There's the body. You have not completed... Yeah, the, the hell I haven't. Oh my god. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Whoa, that could have been a problem. Oh my god. Oh, hello there, Josh. Welcome to the stream. Anybody making me way through Wayward? I've never actually played any of the games except for uh, this first one. If that flyer was correct, this front yard is where the rave was thrown. And you know it's a good rave, because it's capital. I guess I don't need any bodies. I'm assuming there's a boss here if they just feed me a shotgun immediately. Whoa, whoa, sir. Sit down. Okay, what the hell? What? I don't, what? I'm not even 100% sure what animal that is. I do know, though, that I don't like the gun-toting zombies. What is this? It's like a Silent Hill 1 enemy. It's like a frog? Some kind of frog? I don't even... know for sure. I'm trying to kill... Oh, okay, we got a shotgun zombie. Like, I'm trying to kill the gun-toting zombies, but then these crazy animals come by, and they actually hurt, which is very cool and not annoying. And he's slightly faster than I am. And he's gonna kill me. And one spawns inches from my face the moment I kill one. This is very good game design. Am I supposed to just leave or what? Look at this, everywhere I go, monsters just appear. It's such a dick move when they literally just teleport in. It's not even like a contrived excuse like they climb their way out of a grave. They just appear in front of me. Like, are you seeing this? Oh, bullshit. Good thing I saved my lives. Look at, look at this, they're just spawning in. Get the hell out of here. And Mr. Shotgun, I don't, I don't, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Oh, didn't know that was an option. There we go. Oh, I'm getting shot up by a hundred zombies. Right, whoa, okay, let's just not. We're not, we're not doing this. We are, we're not doing that. Yikes. Alright. I don't get on the bus. Oh, yikes. That's the guy with the key? Alright, why not? Mr. Shotgun, we're not doing that. Can I shoot him through the fence? I cannot. I cannot. Oh, and uh, as for what the hardest PS2 game I've played, I remember having a lot of trouble with Galarian's Ash. Uh, Dragon Ace, you're asking about Galarian's in general. That was PS1, but Ash was PS2. Where's the door that requires a key? I'm assuming it's, like, involved with that chain-link fence. 
was trying to get a better of sense of the uh, the room I'm in. I don't think I need to go all the way back. Because there's nothing for me here, right? And did I actually... Oh, I did not actually kill everything, but I'm close. I might have actually wiped the place clean. Surprisingly. And yeah, the, the fight with Ash, the, the final boss fight was the absolute worst. That was a freaking disaster. Alright, so where's like a place I can go in? I actually don't know how this works. Like, this bus door is open, but I don't think I could actually go into the bus. Is there a door around here that I need to open? Like, where am I supposed to go from here? Do I do I actually go back out the way I came in? I'm trying to sweep the area, but I'm not really getting much out of this. Unless what I needed was right where I started and I just couldn't find a way in. Like, this is not a complicated area I'm in. I'm in a tiny... Or, like, I'm in a one-room area. Like, this is it. This is the room. I got the key. So, where's the door that I open? <clears throat> or is it... Look at that shotgun. I can walk up this. That's kind of amusing. Yeah, I don't think there's much I'm doing in this area. So, what do I open? Like, what did I get a key for? I don't think I'm shooting the fence. It's the greatest fence ever made. Bullets just bounce off of it. Do I have a sense of, like, all well, this is game stats? Find the key to the prison gates. So, I mean, it looks like I'm at the gates, for sure. See, like, there's a door over there, but, like, how do I, like, get around to the point where I get in there? I like that someone's shooting at me from... Oh wait, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could I jump on the boss? Is that a thing that I can do? No, maybe not. Although that was a tempting idea. Because, like, I just straight up don't know where to go from here. Like, I get, I'm assuming I gotta find a way in the brick building, because it feeds out into that... It's not a tunnel, but you know what I mean. But it, like, it is up this way? Like, this doesn't seem right. What? Hello? Was that just telling me I couldn't go back in the sewer? Whatever that was, I hope it wasn't important. Wow, alright. I'm just straight up lost then, I guess? Like, where's a door? Well, here's a zombie. Here, have fun with this guy. Bang, you're out of here. Got him. Like, it doesn't look like it's the ground. Where's a door? Where is a door? If anybody knows where a door is, I would very much appreciate it. Because, like, the, I don't see literally anything out in the first area. Is this it? It looks like it would have been it. Looks like giant doors, but no good. Apparently. I don't freaking know, man. This is the hardest puzzle in the game. Because I can't jump over any of this stuff. Uh, maybe there's a hole in the ground. Yeah, I don't freaking know. There's multiple crater-looking things. But, like, I have no idea what to do with any of this stuff. Can we get to blow something up? I don't know. Oh, the bus? I could just shoot the bus with one more bullet, and that just does it? Well, there it is, a door. Unreal. Alright, shotgun man goes first. Ridiculous. That's very annoying. Freaking destructible environment. Okay, and that's just a straight up dead end. 
And then, who are these guys? Just prisoner zombies? Lots and lots of prisoner zombies. Let's, let's lead them in one at a time, maybe. Let's not have them gang up on me. Because that could get very scary very quickly. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Okay, that's enough. I don't I don't want a mob situation. Thank goodness their pathfinding is not great. Like apparently we do not deal with infinite enemies, so I'm actually gonna camp here for a little while. See so look at how pleasant I'm making this place. Nice and quiet. I mean, I use the term quiet loosely as I keep firing guns, but... Can I blow all these up? No, but I can knock them down, because it's cool, I guess. Anyway, let's take this slowly and carefully, as more zombies just appear. I really dislike that. Look at that. They just keep coming. They're spawning faster than I can kill them. Which is actually kind of insane. Alright, it's enough of that. Okay, here's more. Let's just clear the place out while I can. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Let's just spawn like 15 zombies in a row. Jeez. This is definitely awesome and not irritating. Also, I wonder how much XP it takes to level up and what leveling up actually does. Because if it can improve my, like, damage output, even though that makes no sense because I'm using guns, that'd be neato. That'd be just swell. Just kiting zombies all day like you do. Alright, we cool? Can I breathe now? Music's kinda cool, though. Oh, it's only three more. Okay, here's another one. Nice. There we go. We cool? We are not. I'm gonna go now. Oh, yeah, you, sir, are not sticking around. I like that the shotgun zombie can actually drop a shotgun, though. It'd be very annoying if they couldn't. And look at this, I can't go anywhere. All I want to do is move forward and leave this very simple room. But how do I know I'm not going to have, like, 1,700 zombies if I do that? That's the part that annoys me. So I'm taking my sweet time and just... Holding down the R button for an hour. However, it looks like I've almost done. Maybe we're actually good? Leveling boots boosts stats and edges, as well as hidden glyphs in some levels that can permanently boost a stat. I will take strength, please. This is ridiculous. Uh, is my PlayStation 2 the launch day console? Not even close. I have a slim model. Oh good, we got flamethrower zombies. And we got a shotgun guy. Boy, I do love spawning more zombies with guns. Whatever, I got one. This prison's pretty rough. Oh, I actually got hit by something. Oh my god. Whatever, one of you dropped the shotgun, so I'm gonna capitalize on that.
Alright. How about you? Do you have health? You do, you do. Thank you. Apparently that hit me anyway. Doesn't matter. Am I hitting these guys or what? Get the hell out of here. I'm saving the innocents now. Get the hell out of here. No, don't worry. I love it when I get shot like a hundred times. Where's the health path? Nope. No health drop. I have a secret technique. It's called get fed up with this. Oh my god. I still don't know what these E things do. I don't know if it's a multiplayer thing or what. Magically they let me get away with that. I can't believe I didn't get grabbed on the way. Oh, wow. Alright. More prisoners. I think. Jeez, too many of these guys. I'm playing a very simple level. Can I just beat it, please? And can we not deal with Machine Gunner? Oh, I don't think so. What the hell? You're damn right a key's been dropped. Are you freaking kidding me? Crazy machine gunning, jump kicking zombie. Get the hell out of here. Ooh, health. Anybody else want to drop health? And also stop spawning as a personal favor to me. Look at this, we got a shotgun guy back up on the platform now. Like, just go away. Get lost. Oh my god. Oh, ease for mana like the other ones are for health? Okay, thank you, Josh. No wonder I never can make any use of them. Because I don't use my mana. Because it's only good for sprinting. And that's just going to, like, make me skip fights. Or run far enough that I spawn 100 guys but don't actually leave the level. So sprinting is just generally bad. Unless I'm specifically retreating. Oh my god. Alyssa, am I a retro gamer? I mean, do you see what I'm playing right now? I'm playing a freaking 20-year-old console. Um, I don't think anything else is around here, thank goodness. This is a rough level, real meat grinder, as opposed to the last one, which was saving all the people. Or, you know, resting the bodies, whatever. Let us save. The Martyr's Edges will cost a small amount of health, along with conviction. I don't think I realized that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this meal hall was left untouched after the incident last year. I can only imagine the smell. Well, it probably smells delicious. Think of all the meals you could find. Wow. I enter the level and zombies spawn just right on top of me. Are you freaking... Like, you'd think you'd at least have to walk forward a little bit. Anyway. No... I've improved my skills, whatever that means. Haven't improved my strength worth a damn. Do you think? Uh, not worth it, actually. Alright. What? Wait, what? I, I have no idea what killed me. Unless I got shot. Well, never mind about switching weapons. I was going to switch to the submachine gun in desperation, but apparently I don't need to do that. Oh, I did get shot. It's super awkward when there's no music when I'm just shooting 100 guys. Doesn't this make it sound like, uh, like the demo for the game? Like, Hunter the Reckoning. Press start to actually play, and it's just... I'm silently walking around and shooting guys. <laughs> yeah. 
Magically, I got away with it. Freaking animals, though. We're not dealing with those. Boy, it'd be neato if... Well, they shot one. I was going to say if I could kill one of these freaking zombies. And we got more spawning in. Guys, piss off. If we could stop spawning zombies with pistols, please, thank you. Only I may use pistols. Eh, that's more like it. Get lost. I want to play the damn level. Oh my god. Alright. The store goes back to the front yard. Alright, I guess. Oops, I gotta reload. God, that felt good. Alright, let's let's just do a little cleanup. Ooh, can I get the health? I can, I can. There we go. Wow, that was kind of irritating. Um, they're dropping machine guns, which are no good. I'll take the shotgun, though. There we go. The shotgun guy down. Thank God. These little peons, though, they, they can really just go away, please. Not sure if I want to go upstairs or what. I guess I'll take a okay. Haha, shot the wrong guy, buddy. You're supposed to fall down. There we go. Now that is more like it. Okay. I think that just magically didn't hit me. That hit me. I love it when I lose like half of my health. Actually, wait, what's the what's the word for that? Um, oh, I, I got it. I don't like it when I lose over half my health. I gotta watch out for these little creatures, which I can shoot from here, again. Where we're using doom logic. Like, I'm not specifically aiming down. I just kinda am. Better. Ugh. I'm supposed to fall down. Good. Some of the myths about vampires are actually true. Fire and wood hurt them more than bullets, and direct sunlight is lethal. Use whatever advantage you can get. I don't know how I'm going to get fire unless uh, a flamethrower enemy is nearby. I don't know. I don't know. To hell with your tables. This is some mess hall. Like, I'm still in the first room. Unless this whole level is just the one room. Because it's a big mess hall. We'll find out, I suppose. I'll take the health. Oh, there's something at the... Oops, ouch. There's something at the end of the hallway here. Shotgun. Yeah, I'll use this. Skablam. And look, we do get to enter another room. I never thought I'd see the day. The My god, this place is huge. Alright, that's it. Here's the next room. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not. 
I don't know what's more annoying. The the fast running guys who can only fight close range, or the guys who don't move who keep firing bullets at me. Get the hell out of here. Stay down. Oh, can I not get in there? I, yeah, I, I can. That was a door. Ah, rats. If I can kill the gun guys, then I'll be king of the world if I can stand at the table. Oh no! The zombies also figured out the trick of climbing onto a table. Uh oh. We got a crawler. I saw an innocent to the right. That's fine. I'll deal with that. Alright, the gun guys are down. It's those damn runners, though. They're the worst. We're getting some rad music now, though. I could really do without the runners. Just stop spawning them in and I'll be happy. Whoops. There we go. Less cool when they literally spawn around on top of me, but... Innocent, get out of here. I saved an innocent. Are we cool? I see a couple of doors. Which door do I open? I guess neither, because I have... Tons of zombies spawning in. Again. Just go away. I think we're cool. Oh my god. Alright. Oh wow. Alright. What? No. Uh, could, could we not? Get the hell out of my way. I'm trying to leave a crowd situation. Okay, I was just gonna say, can any of you ingrates actually spawn health, please? Goodness gracious. I'll say the innocence. And I got a shotgun. Freaking guns not get the hell out of here. What, that guy had a key? Are you freaking serious? Do you know how easily I would have left this room if I were in a rush and it turns out I needed to kill that guy? Well, I'm glad I came. I saved an innocent and I got a key that I will need later. Ladies and gentlemen, levels of freaking meat grinder. I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. For God's sake. Alright. Jeez. The hell? The hell? What? Uh, excuse me, what are you? Are you from the wrong game, buddy? Are you from, like, Splatterhouse? Jeez, alright. Guess what I'm doing next. The Good lord, could we not? I don't know if this is supposed to count as a boss room, but... I hope it is, because this is terrifying. Wow. Do you think I need a, a, a second player? You know, the classy thing to do would have made this game, like, playable single player. I really don't want to run out of ammo in this room of all places. Where they're shooting spikes at me and like doing all my health. Oh, this is a freaking shooter over here. Like borderline bullet health. Wow. I like the part where like I lost half my health in one shot.
that guy had a key. Piss off. Absolutely ridiculous. That room was a nightmare. And enemies are still coming, by the way. I see something back there, and it better be a shotgun. Alright. We cool? I can't shoot any of this stuff, but I'm trying anyway. Alright. I'm out of here. Well, oh god, alright. Excuse me for a second. Where's the big guy? Oh, he's up here for some reason? Looks like uh, the, the twin victims from Silent Hill 4. And magically, he goes down easily enough. Uh, let's see if I can heal. Uh, I, I got the health, that's the important thing. I accidentally touched the door. Now I'm gonna take my opportunity to heal if I can get away with it, and hopefully not get shot. Got a freaking gun wielding zombie again. God damn it. Alright, I'm out of here. Jank ass freaking game. But we made it through. That was the meal hall. It's very annoying when you get hit. Like, you kind of. I don't know if you actually slow down, but, like, you definitely get stunned. The entrance to Degenhart's living quarters is at the other end of the main yard. Degenhart was the warden who oversaw Arcady's execution. Oh my goodness. You just came from there. <laughs> Turn around and get to work. Well, don't make me face it then. I know it's a brick wall, but... Yeah. See, this is what happens. You run toward the camera and you get jumped like freaking um, Crash Bandicoot. the wall there. There we go. Anyone else want to show up and ruin my day? I don't think I can do anything with this. Nope, I'm just trapped here. There are stairs to the right, of course. Okay, let's take the stairs. Here's a brilliant idea. I'm going to go up the ramp. Excuse me, sir. You're supposed to fall down. What if I keep going? How much you want to bet there's a locked door up here? At least I can make these upper guys go away while I have a chance. Maybe I should use the chainsaw. I keep forgetting that's a thing. I, I should give that a shot in the crazy crowd situations. I'd probably make a killing. And I could probably just jump off and down at any time. Oh. I didn't mean to have that equipped, but you know what? I'll take it. A rocket launcher? Excuse me? Don't worry, you'll never need that. Oh god, there's a hundred gun-wielding zombies down there. What a nightmare. Oh, can I not jump off? Too bad. That would have been pretty funny. A flamethrower! So I do get to equip one myself. But it looks like I'm going to have to just walk down to deal with this disaster of a situation. I'm not excited by that. I can't go in there. I could probably jump off here. No, I really can't. Alright, fine. Oh man, this is a very scary situation. Am I actually hitting them is the question, because I don't know. 
and they're all wielding shotguns. So like, I I really don't want to. Okay, not all, but th th they all they're all wielding guns. I re whoa, hello gargoyle. They're slow though, so it's fine. I know. I'll go this way instead, because I ain't dealing with no gargoyle right now. Hey, never mind. Yes, I am, because there's the the dog thing. Get the hell out of here! Stop spawning. I hate the dogs. But look at this. I can't go anywhere. You guys need to go away. Real bad. Alright. A little quieter. Go away, everybody. A key was dropped. That's who gives me the key. Bonk. Oh man. Nice. This is this is going great. How come I was able to like just utterly dominate them the first time with my melee skills? Like what's different this time? I feel like it shouldn't be this back and forth. See what I mean? Like every time I do anything, I just get like clipped by a, a brick tail. And and that hit me. Nice. Here, eat some of this. Look, look, look at this. I can't kill one gargoyle. I was like just going through them in earlier levels. But now I can't. Alright. Now I can't dodge anything. This is absurd. Do you think? Awesome. Alright, well, I mean, I got him. I did get him. Alright, let's heal again, because I can do that. Now, what am I opening? Is it that door right in front of me where there are a hundred zombies waiting to jump me the moment I go through? I can go through. And I, I immediately took unavoidable damage. Alright, I got a gunman out of the way. I've improved my skills. I think my strength did go up. I'll take what I can get. Oh, hey, an innocent. Uh, what? Never mind. One of my friends was dragged to the basketball courts. Don't let them kill her. Yeah, I mean... Don't let them kill me. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something right now. Another gun zombie out of the way. It's okay by me. Got headless ones coming after me now. I got hit, but I slightly recovered. Okay, we can really stop spawning gun-toting enemies. Like, we could just, like, not do that, please. I'll take the health. There we go. There we go. Things are slightly better, although I've still got a, a slow-moving mob coming toward me. Shotgun guy, though, we can we could just not with that. Thank you. 
Shotgun guy was getting real old real fast. Which is why I'm so happy they have another one immediately. Whew, are we good? I know there's a guy at the end, but... Oh, for the love of God. Hey, I know, let's spawn far more of them. I, oh, I need another key, do I? Alright. Who's gonna drop it? Which one of you clowns has a key? Okay. Oh, wow. Alright, well. Is it you, sir? Do you have a key? This is the entrance to the prison infirmary, where Dr. Hadrian oversaw the care of the prisoners. Uh, of prisoners. He was Degenhardt's right hand. Uh, thank you, I guess. Anyway. Do you think these guys will shoot the gargoyles? That'd be amazing. Oh, okay, it's not, in fact, a gargoyle that has a key. This pleases me. Haha! -ha! Hey, good news, everybody. More guns. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Oh, immediately we have another key. Alright, I'm happy about that. And I'll get rid of these guys just so I can stop getting shot. Oh my god! Way to appear, just right at the foreground. With more gargoyles. Freaking ridiculous. I did get a key, though. This is the entrance to Death Row, where Arcady was executed last year. So this is- am I in, like, a hub world, then? Do I need to open- okay. Do I need to use, like, multiple keys for multiple levels, and I'm gonna come back here? Because that, that'd be kind of cool. Jesus, stop spawning gunmen. This is getting real old. Look at this, I'm taking so long to kill these... Whoa, guys that the uh, the gargoyles have finally showed up. I say you know, this is getting tiresome. Enough with the gun zombies. Anyway. Oh, I want that, I think. Look at this, the, like, there's just... Freaking gargoyles walking around. Alright, so is this the place I go into next? Nope. I mean, I got a key. So where do I use it? Uh, have I ever fired a gun? I guess uh, in real life, no, I have not. God damn it. Like, I, I was just mowing through the gargoyles last stream, but, like, it is not happening this time. And whoops, I didn't even realize. I have max ammo for that weapon, so see ya, gargoyles. I guess I'll get some healing in. And look, it's Mr. Shotgun Man. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm assuming the key is for the door to the left, not this. Yeah, no good, no good. So we're going, oh man, oop. No time for that now. Magically, I didn't get hit. All right, we cool? I think we're cool. Watch out for annoying little fast things that, like, wombo combo me. Alright. Whoa! Nope! These guys don't move very well, though, so I can relatively easily take them down. Just, for the love of God, don't get close to them thinking they're nothing. Could we just, like, give up on the freaking gun-toting zombies, though? Ugh. Slowly but surely. There. Slowly but surely, making the prison a safer place. Kind of, sort of. Oh, a key. Surprisingly, just a regular guy at a key. Or I, I might, have, might have been a flamethrower guy. And I can't even pick up the damn key. There we go. Got it. I think one of the shotgun guys just hit the other shotgun guy, which will probably save me a lot of trouble. But seriously, enough with the animals. I, I mean, I keep, like, I'm saying enough with every kind of enemy, but like, stop spawning a hundred guys. Let's get that health. Thank you. 
That takes care of that. That does not take care of that. Boom. Get out of here. Now, I think there was a door up ahead. Yeah, nothing up here except for a weapon. That's fine. Probably gonna have a couple more enemies on the way. Yep. You know what? Oops. No time for that now. Good. You're out of here. Good. Now, this is the entrance to the cell block. Got it. Yeah, it's just blocked off. Everything is blocked off. This is the entrance to Warden Dogenhardt's living quarters. He would administrate the prison from here. Dogenhardt disappeared after the execution last year. Uh, whoa, whoa, a red gargoyle. Perhaps this is the boss of the level. I'm assuming it's just a regular gargoyle, except, like, way angrier. Got him. Is that the boss? We cool? Oh, okay. Makes sense. It was a little weird to have a gargoyle, so I guess I lucked out by not aggroing both at the same time. You know what? This chainsaw is all right. We cool now? That was a boss. What was the objective? Oh, the basketball courts. Yeah, duh. Uh, I'm here. This is it. Fortunately, the basketball courts are one inch away from what looks like the exit, so I'll take that. I could take less, uh, you know, just screen saturated with zombies. Or at least my strength mildly increased, but I mean, I sure would love a real increase. I do like the speed, though. If Martyr ever gets, like, even defender levels of strength, then she'll be a force to be reckoned with because she's fast as hell. I probably shouldn't be running this far, but you know what? I found the innocence. Let's get her the hell out of here. Bonk. You're done. Objective complete. Let's get the hell out of here, please. And I will get a little health back. And I'll take out whatever you are. Alright, there. Now that I can breathe. Get some gunmen out of here. Heal up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. See, everything's coming up Millhouse. I appreciate that it wasn't some kind of escort mission, it's just like, quick, tag the person and she'll just be fine. They could always run away when you touch them, so I guess I just needed to give them the confidence to leave. Otherwise they were going to stay here and just get wrecked by every single undead thing in the world. Alright. I think we're done here. And I took out the big bads. So the gargoyles are done. Let's leave. I did it, everybody. I did it. Boom. We're out of here. But man, this jail looks like it's got quite the amount of spooky enemies. I don't know. I'm quite terrified right now. Saving innocence gives you extra lives, though. That's definitely a good reason to do it. Because as you can see, when this game feels like ganging up on you, you just drop... Those aren't living quarters. Dagenhart lived in a damn mansion. He was rumored to be a recluse and spent most of his time here. Oh, we doing a Resident Evil thing now? I'm in the spooky woods? Approaching a man- Shit, what the hell? Are you an enemy? Or are you just an obstacle? I think I can shoot this thing. Yeah. Huh. What do you make of that? Hey look, an item. I'm sure I can just walk up and take it. Actually, I can, but here's an annoying enemy again. Alright, we're looking a little bit better. Uh, this is a damn mansion. <laughs> look at this. 
without you. Could you not spawn on me? So you don't get hit with like every single thing that happens? Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, I think they hit each other. They're so in it to win it that they don't realize they're they're eating their own. Whoop. Nice, nice. Yeah, go ahead and hit me twice in a row really fast with devastating damage. Thank you. Thank you for that. Weird ass tendril though. It's just weird. And thank goodness I get to use a glyph. We got Mr. Shotgun. Here's a piece of advice. Helene, Celeste Marie, and Jeffrey Degenhardt III are all buried here. The Warden's entire family was wiped out on the same day in 1926. That would make the Warden over 100 years old. Ooh. I don't know about you, but that creeps me right out. Oh, this sucks, actually. Hang on a second. Thanks for not switching weapons because I stepped on a glove. Bang. Bang. I'm glad that's all that took. I got a key for somewhere. Aussie freaking mongrels. Uh, I guess I go to the right, because this path, I don't think this path's going to help me very much. It just leads to a brick wall, which is really freaking weird. I wasn't sure if I could shoot those designs there. Boom. Got it. Mansion. We're going in. We're going in. Try changing the friendly uh, fire options. Yeah, wow. Let's make the game, like, unplayable. <laughs> there may be information on what caused the disturbance in the town. Search the mansion thoroughly. What else is that? You're really going to spawn me, like, surrounded by guns? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, what a dick move. And we got crazy, like, jet black tentacles coming at me. Oh, and one of those guys. What a creepy enemy. You're supposed to fall down. My god, that hurts. Now who's shooting at me and from where? Like, I, I really can't tell. I can't get too close to the seat. Get the hell out of here. I'm gonna die absolutely. I'm, I'm totally dead. Oh, the luck. The luck. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh, there actually was a guy who spawned here, and magically it didn't just body me. Haha! -ha. You like that? Damn. Just waiting for me upstairs. How long is this hallway? Can I go in this random room? Nope. Uh, well, yes, actually, but not now. Wow, we're just straight up doing a... Like a Resident Evil thing. I know. Let's check this door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Alright. Hang on a second, everybody. Boom. 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 The, like, this is absurd. Like, you, you do realize this is absurd, right? Jesus. There's a key.
Wow. Let's check the PC. There are several different drafts of the Rave Flyer on this desktop. Arcade Execution Anniversary Rave. Yeah, nice. All right, well, that's the room. I did it. Oh, my God. All right. I guess I could keep going to the other end of the hallway. Now that... Whoa. Now that the camera's actually facing this way, perhaps that means I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, see? Thanks for spawning right on top of... No, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Piss off. Piss off. Nope. Nope. There's the key. What is with those weird fast ones? Oh, I saved the innocents? Didn't even know they were in there. What the hell are they doing in here? This locked room. Anyway, I got a key. See ya. And now the camera's facing the other way again, so maybe that means I need to cross... The hallway the other way? Maybe? Another door is locked. I think I went in this one already. Yeah. Anything at the... Oh, the camera just flips when I leave. It doesn't even matter which way I'm going necessarily. That complicates things. But this is a new room. And I should really just have the shotgun ready when I enter these rooms, because I'm not learning my lesson. God damn. Like, this is insanity, right? You're seeing this? Oh, that one had the key. Anyway... The innocent is out, thank goodness. Let's go to the other end. This is ridiculous. Could I get more shotgun ammo, please? I would very much appreciate that. Oh, alright, alright. Got the key. This game is insane. Oh, all right, and... Degenhardt's Journal, February 14th, 1990. I have finally destroyed the other vampires who embraced me, hmm, and avenged the murders of my family. Dr. Hadrian and I will remain here and use the inmates for research and sustenance. Ugh. Is this a door? No, it is not. So what did I get the key for? Was there something at the way other end of the hallway, maybe, that I missed? Or is it back down the stairs? I'm not sure about this one. Oh. No, it was a door. I thought it was just, I thought I went into the window or something. Yeah, this is a bunch of nothing. Yeah, being anywhere near the door just opens it. Maybe I do go back downstairs. Or in fact, maybe I don't. Huh. I guess there's something going on upstairs. I'll just systematically check the doors, I guess. Oh. Oh, we get a cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. as I was. He's still there, haunting death row. I can't get anywhere near him or do anything about it. He's your link. Now go. You've got nerve. I can't believe you actually expect me to feel sorry for you. Save the crybaby crap for someone who cares. <laughs> what? Whoa. You don't seem to understand. 
They came in here. They killed my family. They made me into this thing. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I had no choice! I have nothing left to lose. Welcome to eternity. Do I have to fight him now? Because I'm... Like, I'm the one who started this. Whoa! That, that really hurt. Thank you for that. Hi, oh, yeah, there's an innocent. And there's please, 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 please. Yes. How much health do you have? Alright, time for my ultimate technique. Oh, this is actually really... Oh, wait a minute. It says vampires are weak to flame. This is the rocket launcher. Do I jump over that? It's not doing quite the damage that I hoped. Like, it's, it's doing something, but... Ugh, I love that I just, like, blow up to a million pieces. Oh, I'm out of flame? Alright. That just missed? Alright. I'm just... Jesus. Alright. You know what? Did I just blow myself up like an idiot? It's not dealing enough damage. Like, how much damage do I need? This is absurd. You're supposed to fall down. Whew, that was close. I'm not even 100% sure I'm aiming correctly at him. You're supposed to fall down. Do I just like not have the shotgun anymore? This is ridiculous. Whew. Come on. Oh, I'm finally out of glyph energy. Where is he? This is freaking exhausting. Got him. Jesus. Bonus continued, damn right, considering I used a hundred continues. I used all my ammo on that one guy. I love that I just, he was just like, could you just leave? And I just try shooting him in the back of the head. <laughs> He's like, hey, what the hell, man? And that's the fight. So where do I go from here? I don't think I can leave via my entrance. Is there another door? Unless I can leave via the, oh. Alright, got it.
I got my machine gun, got a shotgun, you're damn right. I better get all the ammo. So I'm assuming now that I've cleared this floor, like I've cleared this area, I just leave and I go back to the hub area and then all of a sudden there's gonna, they're gonna let me back into like a new one of the levels. And pardon me, I'm just checking all the rooms for any weapon pickups I did not capitalize on before, like here. I need to take everything I can get because that guy had absurd health. This is where a damage dealer would have been useful. Ooh, I'll take this. Just in time for a guy to spawn right in front of me and shoot me in the face. Very nice, very nice. And the glyph is out. Alright. I'm assuming I go downstairs now. And just leave the way I came in. Because the I did have the symbol when I came in. Yeah, see the symbol was grayed out before. But now that I beat the area, I can leave. There we go. That was hard. This is why you need like four players. I really don't want to make it to the end of the game and just burn through lives instantly and then it's like, oh, game over, sorry. This game is very arcadey, but the idea of a perma game over is just annoying. Make your way to death row. Arcadey's possession and execution freed the spirits last year. Killing him may close the hole. Maybe it will, but this is where I'm going to stop right now, so thank you very much for watching the stream and have a wonderful night.